minister, uh, new minister. Most of them. The um, everybody wants to hear what is the current political situation and how how is tourism going to going to fit into that. Well, I think uh, we will see. Uh, Maldives has been uh, uh, going through uh, difficult times in the last uh, ten years or so, if you see. But uh, tourism is uh, as usual. I don't see uh, uh, there are anything uh, different right now. So it's. Uh, I think uh, democracy and you know the management process are always you know uh, improving. So life is uh, is usual, I would say, but today, okay, we have the difficult times. Well, I I know uh, uh, investors, tourism investors, hotels, continue to invest. Your your world uh, WTM stand is is chock full yeah. of people, so they're not particularly uh, concerned about packaging or sending further visitors to to your islands uh, so you you think everything's fine there's no particular type of thing that fine as far as visitor security is concerned I think visitor security uh, yeah if you look at the, the past it has been always uh, the same and uh, we have our national security service and uh, we have the, the Ministry of Home Affairs who is uh, working on that and uh, as far as I'm concerned I have not received any additional threats or anything uh, and it's been uh, life as usual and you will, if you look at the statistics you will see it's uh, fairly uh, consistent over the past and then we continue to be serving our, our guests uh, pretty well and uh, we have not had any uh, additional threats or anything like that. No, enough of that. Let's get to the, the happier uh, side of the story of growing tourism to your islands. Yeah, I think uh, if you look at the uh, figures, uh, we have had uh, a single digit growth uh, of uh, uh, some of the key markets like Britain and Germany and uh, Italy. For example, if you look at uh, September figures also, we are I'm very encouraged with that. And what were the September figures? What kind of? Uh, so, uh, it, it's it's in uh, single digit, four percent, seven percent, and uh, I think mm -hmm. my colleague here will be able that's, to. That's pretty a, good. Yeah, single digits are pretty good. Of that of that well, caliber. Of that well, level? I think uh, we traditionally it's, uh, these are markets that we have had for the, uh, as long as Maldives have had uh, tourism. So. Uh, I think, uh, given the infrastructure that we have uh, developed over the in the past couple of uh, months or maybe uh, one or two years, I think that, that that's the kind of uh, development that we can expect. But again, uh, in the future, that uh, we have a new developments coming in, like the uh, airport is going to have a new runway in the next two three years to come, and there there are new resorts which are opening uh, hopefully in the next uh, uh, thirty six months. And you know, I think that's the time that we should be expecting. Uh, uh, Double-digit uh, growth. For example, uh, I think, uh, but there are some some sectors which are very promising uh, today. I had uh, meetings with uh, some of those uh, uh, tour operators uh, from Britain, and in 2016, uh, we are seeing about 20% uh, growth uh, forecast in uh, some of the sectors. Oh. long term wise, what is the you know, I, I realize your your business card is, hasn't arrived yet, so so it may not be a fair question. But in your thoughts, long term, what would be the ideal level of tourism for Maldives? Well, I think uh, see, uh, Maldives has graduated. Uh, Maldives has actually from the least developed nations, we have gone into the uh, developing nation uh, state. And also, uh, we have met uh, some of the key indicators that needed by uh, Millennium uh, uh, goals. And I think uh, looking at all this, uh, uh, for us to you know further widen the income, uh, the, you know tax base, I think we need to definitely expand. Uh, so. When we have the new infrastructure, which our government has uh, promised, uh, like the airport, 
and uh, also uh, support facilities related to it. Uh, not only the international airport, there are so many uh, uh, smaller domestic airports which are coming up. Once that comes, I think there are figures that uh, we are looking at. Uh, this, these are very ambitious figures, but I can tell you, we can, now we are targeting 1.5 million, and uh, hopefully by 2018 we could be expecting about 2.5 million. Oh, that's, that's double digit, certainly. Thank you very much, Minister. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you.